Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about uh, part of the skeleton of the fish. So as you know the fish skeleton is made up of the cranial part of the skull, the body and the tail region. Over here you can see the lower portion or particularly the jaw region is missing. But let's try to see the parts of skeleton of the fish. So this is the skull, okay, part of the skull particularly as I mentioned. Then uh, this portion is a girdle, okay, and this is the spine with ribs, you can see the ribs. And this is the tail where you will find caudal fins. Now let's try to identify some bones of the skull. So if you see it from above, you can see this region, you might be seeing the joints of the bones. So this particular bone is parietal bone. Behind parietal bone, you can see the occipital bone. Okay. Let me turn it back. <coughs> So occipital bone and this is the supra occipital crest, this one. Now if you see it from in front, in front of the parietal bone, this belongs to the frontal bone, okay. In front of frontal bone you can see nasal bones, okay. These two small bones in relation to the nasal bones are uh, lacrimal bones and in front of the lacrimal bone you can see the pre-maxilla okay over here this is the maxilla okay and here would be the orbit which is missing which is covered by operculum so that portion is missing this is the base and as we have discussed this is the girdle region so particularly this is the pectoral girdle and here would be the pectoral fins i'm not sure about this but most probably this would be the pelvic girdle and pelvic fins would be over here and then you can see the vertebrae First one would be the atlas and then beyond that you can see the vertebrae joined with each other by the joints, you can see the joints in between. Now these are the spines, these are termed as neural spine and these are termed as the hemal spine. Now why it is termed as neural spine because the dorsal aspect lodges within the vertebral column the dorsal aspect lodges spinal cord and the nerves would be coming out of this foramina that is why it is termed as neural spine you can see the foramina whereas the ventral part okay this is termed as hemal spine because it lodges major vessels particularly aorta within it and the vessels blood vessels would be coming out of it to the foramina situated along the ventral aspect you are here and most posteriorly the tail region the most caudal, caudal part and here would be the caudal fins which are connected with the spine via hypurals okay and over here would be the anal fins which are missing over here would be the dorsal fins which are again missing and as you discussed here would be the pectoral and pelvic fins again these are missing but by and large the skeleton is very well preserved and hopefully you have got an idea about the skeletal system of the fish 
see this from the other side you can clearly see the ribs okay making a rib cage these are connected to the vertebrae see this so this is regarding skeleton of the fish hope you understood well thanks for watching